Hi guys, my name is Mattia and this is my channel Ultra FPV. Today we're gonna talk about uh, the Ishin i6. This is a rebranded uh, uh, Flysky i6 with a custom firmware for uh, the Ishin product. You can flash the firmware from the Flysky version and uh, have all the added functionality of the Flysky radio but today I will show you how to use this radio with the simulators uh, without uh, flashing another firmware and uh, how to uh, set up idle up so you will have an alternative to air mode to use this radio with the simulator you will need a cable like this you have uh, an USB uh, on one hand and uh, a jack on the other with an adapter that uh, goes to the trainer port on the back of the radio. To access the settings on the Xing i6 you need to push the two trim buttons and then power up the radio and uh, you see that holding the OK button gives you the menu. On the menu you have to choose system and uh, you need to scroll down until you see student mode. On student mode you press OK. A student mode uh, says uh, this will enter student mode or settings will be bypassed. Press OK to proceed. OK. Are you sure? We select yes. And uh, student mode now is uh, enabled and you will be able to use this radio with uh, simulators using this cable. Another thing that you can do with this radio is uh, going to setup, OK. We go to throttle curve, we press OK. And uh, I selected this button to switch between normal and uh, idle up curve. And on the idle up curve, I changed the first value to 6%, while on the normal throttle curve, we have a 0%. To confirm uh, your setting, you need to hold the cancel button. I will uh, press it shortly just to exit. And another thing you need to check is uh, switches assignment. OK, we have flight mode, idle mode. And uh, the thing that we need is to change the idle mode switch to uh, the switch A. So that uh, when we go to throttle curve, the switch will change between the two throttle curves. So as you can see this is very simple and uh, gives you the possibility to use this radio with simulators and uh, with uh, something similar to air mode without upgrading the firmware. I will make another video on this radio and there I will show you how to upgrade the stock Ishing i6 firmware to the 10 channel custom firmware so you have 10 channel for uh, all your switches and uh, you will not uh, need to use the trim to access your uh, settings if this video was useful to you please subscribe give me a like and uh, we see you on next week with other fpv content thank you for watching and uh, have fun flying